Hi and welcome to this Easy Joomla Guide tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to show you how to find and edit menus and menu items. Menu items are links. We're going to show you menu groups, how to create containers for the menu items. We're going to show you how to create a new menu item and the different types of menu items that are available. And finally we'll show you how to make a menu display on the front end of your website via a menu module. One of the important things to note about menus in Joomla is that the definition and the organization of the menus and the links on those menus are logically divorced from the display of them on the front end. These four links here are on a menu defined in the back end, but the display of them here is controlled by a module. The module will have settings for how it's displayed and where it's displayed, such as the module position, for example, here or over here in the template that we're using but the actual definition of the menu items are controlled in the menu area in the back end of Joomla. So let's take a look at that. The menu area in Joomla is underneath menus, manage. And this is where we create the containers that hold the links. There's one already defined in here called main menu. And there are four items on it. If we want to create a new one, we select new in the corner here. If we want to look at the items that are on this menu, there's a number of ways to get there. We can click on this to bring us to it. We can click on this, or we can go from the menus menu and select the title of that particular menu. All those bring us to the same place where we can see the items that are defined for this menu. This is the main menu definition that is displayed on the front end in this module, and it's got four items on it. The first item is a link to a single article. So is the second. The third item is a link to a category of articles. The layout of that category is of type blog. Within this menu item, we can change the settings of how these are displayed, it's like displaying it in alphabetical order or by date published and things like that. This final one is contact and it's linking to a single contact off the contacts extension. So let's look at the settings in one of these. So this main menu item called news is linking to a category blog. The category that it's linking to is called news and that's defined in the content area categories. The way it's displayed is determined by these settings. Whether the title is shown, the description, whether there is an image, whether it's shown and things like that. As you mouse over each of these labels, it will explain what each of them are. This tab is available because the type of menu item chosen is a category blog. A blog layout could be in two columns, three columns. Here it's defined as one column. This determines the number of links that's displayed at the bottom. So you may show four or five actual articles and then four or five links to the next articles underneath all that. All of these settings together determine how that content is displayed on the front end. So now let's look at creating a new menu container and put some menu items in that menu. To create a new menu, we go to the menus area and here we select new. All a menu needs is a title and a menu type. The menu type is the system name of the menu, so it can't have any special characters or spaces in it. The description is handy to describe what you're using that menu for. In this system, I have a series of articles about various fruits, apple, pear, banana, things like that. So I'm going to use that example to create this menu. So now we've created a new menu. Next we can create some menu items for that menu. To create a menu items, we go back to the menu items area. We can either select new here and within those settings then select to add the new menu item to the fruit menu rather than the main menu or here we can first select the menu that we're going to add things to. So here we can see the menu fruit is already selected for us to add these menu items. I'm going to add a menu item to link to a single article. When we select the menu item type, it gives us the range of menu item types available in the system. The one I'm going to use is under articles, 
single article. Other items in here allow you to display content in lots of different ways. So I encourage you to play with those and see what you find. Once we select the single article menu type, then it allows us to select which article we want this to link to. As there aren't very many articles in my system here, it's very easy to see which one I'm going to add. But we can also search in here or filter by various things to find the article. Now that we've added that, we can save it. And I'm going to add two more. Now I've just added two more items to this menu. It's useful to note the alias here. The alias will take whatever's in the menu title, make it all lowercase, remove any spaces and replace them with dashes and remove any special characters. The alias forms the end part of the actual URL. As such, it's a really useful place to put in key phrases occasionally when you're working on optimizing your site for search engines. The next thing I'm going to do is create a module of type menu to display these on the front end. To create a new menu module, we first navigate to the module section under extensions, modules. In the modules area, we can already see there is one defined of type menu already. We're going to create another one like this and we're going to point it to the new menu we created. When you select new, it shows all the different module types that are available within the system. The module type we're after is this one, menu. This now has generated a new module of type menu, and here we're going to change its settings. We'll title it fruit, and it's already selected the menu called fruit here because it's alphabetically pulling them into the system. But that's where you change the menu that you're linking to. If we had submenu items on this, we could create this menu module to show just the submenu items by changing the base item and the start level. I want this item to appear on the right hand side here, above the side module. That position is called position 7 in this particular template. To find out what your template positions are, you can add question mark tp equals 1 to the end of your URL. And if that's switched on in the back end, you'll see something like this. This sidebar is position 7. The name of the template that I'm using is Protostar. So under Protostar, we find position 7. The default when you create a new module is that it is assigned to all pages. But if you wanted this module to only appear on certain pages, you could control that under this menu assignment tab. So there we go. We've created a new menu module and put it in the right hand bar position. So now when we refresh this, it will appear on the right hand side. And through this menu, we can navigate to each of the individual articles that we defined in this menu. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching this easy Joomla guide tutorial.